Hey guys, what is up? Andrew coming at you. I'm a little bit tired, working so hard to get three videos out a week if I can. And hey, we're going to number two. I'm making it. We're going to do this. We're going to keep this happening for now to keep the momentum moving forward. And so I thought today, to make it a little bit easier on myself, I would go through some of the comments that I haven't gone through. I don't know. I don't have any idea how long this video is going to be, and I don't really care. And we'll kind of go into it from there and see. Um, so I'll go in and talk about it. this first one isn't related to my drivings and driving and customs video and this is for the uh, says that everyone has to pay to get a license in Sweden including Swedes I haven't gotten a license yet because I don't want to pay for something I don't currently need I understand the confusion though as a regular schools and such as universities are free if you're from an EU country yeah and I think and I could be wrong and someone can help me but I think if you like live in Spain and you have a license there you your license works in Sweden and I always thought that the argument was that you know, if you're a non-EU, is that you have to learn how to drive in the snow. So I just think it's an advantage you get with an EU system. That's fine. You know, I I, I just thought it would be cool to maybe not have to spend as much to get a license. However, I don't currently have a vehicle in Sweden, and it's awesome that we can get by on public transportation. I'm very happy about that, so we'll go from there. In regards to the WoW Airlines that I flew on, um, M says, um, I have never tried WoW Airlines, maybe because I don't like layovers. I always use Norwegian for transatlantic flights. If you plan ahead, it's usually $150 to $200 one way. Check bags plus me on a seat. If I travel alone, I only do the bag. If I'm with someone, we get an upgrade to get all three options at the cost of two. They normally have good selections of movies to watch. It's cheaper to buy tickets from Norwegian.se than Norwegian.com. I'm guessing the cheapest is from Norwegian.no. It's not only the bad exchange rate, much higher rates than banks. So interesting comment there. Um, what I will say is I didn't care so much about my WoW Air experience, um, and I didn't mind that I had to pay for the meals on the flights. My girlfriend, however, um, would have ch would have preferred maybe to have a little bit more luxury. So keep that in mind if you're traveling with someone else. But if you are going to travel by yourself, I think that WoW Air is not a bad way to go. And that uh, you know I said it was it was a quite a lovely experience, so I liked it. Um, <laughs> David Dumi said, uh, "Hey." This is what I was talking about grocery stores in Sweden. He said, hey, I got a bag for free after I paid for my grocery snacks. I said that I forget a bag, and then she let me take a bag for free of charge. That three crowns has gotten me a long way. I like your funny uh, quote there. And he's got some subscribers as well. But the cool thing is, I think that when you have to pay for your bag, there's motivation to use it more. And I always use my grocery bags as trash bags instead of buying them. So I'm never wasting my bags. And I think that's a really awesome thing. And the, the more things we can use to kind of help the environment, I think that everybody can agree that that's an awesome way to go. The, and when I always do these videos, I think there's things the U.S. can learn from Europe, of course. And there's things Europe can learn from the U.S. And whether they ever do it or not, nobody's system's right or wrong. But it kind of makes it fun. So cool. Um... And in regards to why Sweden doesn't like have a national day, I was just talking about like the 4th of July as, as opposed to the way Sweden does it. M has a good comment here where she says, Sweden, unlike USA or Norway, has never fought for our freedom or independence. We were the, the one occupying other nations, like Norway. You celebrate becoming a nation of your own. It's hard to pinpoint when Sweden as a nation was born, but it did not involve breaking free from another nation of, or any kind of revolution or liberation. Uh, the UK is the same as Sweden. They don't ever have an official national day. They use the Queen's birthday. We don't really have a reason to celebrate, and I can understand that. When you don't fight for your independence, and I'm, because we didn't have to, maybe that's why. The only thing I could think of that Sweden really had to do that was kind of fight away from Denmark. So maybe somehow that could have uh, been a way to go about it. Uh, but then uh, YouTube Source uh, said in regards to WoW Airlines and recycling. Uh, says that uh, sounds like they do recycling better in Sweden. All the recycling should be pre-sorted like that. I like the idea. Problem is people are so lazy to do up these ideas. I'd love to visit Sweden one of these days. Um, and then going into that, we have advanced facilities to store heat from recycled material. This is from Murray who's putting it, uh, which is why it's so important to present things because not all trash is good for use for certain energy or heat warm buildings. Those facilities are so good that we even have important trash or other certain occasions to keep those facilities running. I think the more efficient we can be um, in recycling, the better off it is for the world, really. Uh, the more things we cannot waste. And it's hard in the United States. Like I said, gas is really cheap right now, but people are recycling more. And I'm sure it's a state-by-state -state process, but like I can, I noticed here a lot more recycling. Um, a lot of the, our recycling going together is like plastic. I mean, it's, we're not pre-sorting it maybe in... Pennsylvania 
but at least people are recycling more. I mean, every house down the street's got recycling, and they're really working hard at that. So that is a great start, and let's hope we get better. I'm sure if you would go to somewhere like California in the United States, it would be much more efficient with the recycling process. Uh, Pierre Benson says that this year has been unusually cold in Sweden for spring. I understand, and I can agree. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Christina likes seeing the link of Pittsburgh going there. We're going to Pittsburgh today. That's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you so much for your comment on that video. Uh, Kenneth really went into, because I mentioned I wasn't sure if recycling paper was actually more efficient, because in my mind I was thinking that, hey, you could just plant more trees, and that when you recycle it creates pollution. But he went into it in more detail, so I want to share it with you, because he had uh, has sites as well, and I thought it was interesting. Kenneth says, about recycling, yes, recycling paper does cause some pollution, but so does also creating paper from trees. Uh, the main purpose of recycling isn't to cause less pollution, it's to save the trees that keep our air fresh. The net effect of recycling is far better than to produce new paper all the time. Read more here. Another fun fact about Sweden's recycling, we recycle about 96% of all household trash. Only 4% is going to landfills, and that's awesome. That's fantastic. And thank you for pointing that out, because I didn't know, and I think it's awesome that we have a community where we can learn new things, which is awesome. Um, in regards to, I want to kind of end with this comment today because I thought this was a really good one on admitting when you're wrong because I went into that yesterday it's kind of like on Monday I guess I went into that um, River Day says I must say it's even more important admitting you're wrong to yourself admitting you have a weakness is a strength these things is how we evolve ourselves as human beings you should strive to wake up every morning look at yourself in the mirror and think today I will be a better person than yesterday if that is to take a cooking lesson, to educate a weakness of change patterns you have in life, to be a better person either for you or someone else. Don't look for every flaw you have at once. That could actually make you go crazy, but acknowledging and work on one every day, sooner or later you will become a great human being and probably an inspiration to others. Apologizing to others isn't really that great because they only lead to you going through life making some mistakes over and over. That's not much better than people neglecting their flaws at all. Saying sorry and not doing anything about it is likely trying to score cheap value points in others. True change comes when you admit your flaws to yourself and work on them. When you come this far in life, it's time to realize that some flaws, both in you, others, and a part of your slash their personality, is something we do unconsciously and shouldn't be worked with all at once as we are humans, not trying to become robots. Uh, acceptance is a great thing as long as the flaws you have, other people have, isn't really harmful to anyone. Thank you, Andrew, for bringing up and talk about these important things like this. Very happy you liked it. Like I said, um, I really liked that video uh, Monday that definitely came from the heart, and I'm glad that that spoke to you. I really like your comments, guys. I'm thinking about what I'm going to do next is a Swedish to U.S. comparison uh, video, and I'm hoping to continue to get three videos out a week that you guys can enjoy. Uh, so far, things have been going great with the channel. Uh, my girlfriend's visiting and I'm very excited about that obviously that's going to take up a majority of my time but if I get up early enough I can get a video out there for you guys so thank you very much for this video as always if you like this video please give me a like if you have any questions you want me to go into about Sweden please put that in the comments below um, if you're new to the channel it'd be awesome if you subscribe and be a part of this channel and I will see you guys in that next video take care